And welcome back, it's Dr. Ruben West along with Dr. Ed Womack. We're going through the strategies of, of, of use what's left. And we're talking about the rebound. This is the E in rebound. This is the second strategy. And Dr. Ed Womack, tell us what the E stands for. The E is, it, the e is for extend and excel. Extend and excel. And so when we're talking about a rebound, first off, we're talking about the fact that you may have had a setback, that, that something happened unexpected. Why are we covering this? Because that's life. We understand that people go through things, sometimes they never saw it coming, they never knew it was gonna come, but either way, it's still there. It's still there. Like we covered in the first part in the R, that Dr. Ed Womack is no stranger to being down. But what I love about him and why I had to do this interview is he's a person that was down, but he wasn't out. He was a person that was down, but he didn't stay down. He was a person that was down, counted out, but before the bell rang, he got up, he yeah. stood up and raised his hand and said, and then what he said is, I'm not just going, I've been through some stuff, I've made some mistakes, I'm not just going to pay for it, I'm going to pay it forward. And so I'm here with him right now as he pays it forward, and he's going to go to the second strategy in the rebound, the E, extend and excel. Tell us what that means. So the extend and excel allows oneself to realize, first of all, after having gone through the process of establishing, okay, I got an issue, and I need to get some help. I need to pray and meditate, affirm it. But extending the excel will, prop, will most likely entail having to do some things that one is not comfortable with. Mm, okay. And I took the premise and the, one of my favorite quotes that states that success occurs outside of the comfort zone. Yes. So when the extension begins, you're going to clearly have to do some things that one is not accustomed to doing on a regular basis. Right. going to have to take on perhaps for that individual that doesn't like to read. Yeah. I, I truly believe that readers are leaders. Yeah, and so in that process of trying to rebound from setback, if you continue to do the same things you've always done, yeah, you'll keep getting the same, same things thing. you've always gotten. Yeah. And so as one of the things that I embraced personally, I stopped, stopped looking for love in all the wrong places. Mm -hmm. I stopped trying to find it in the bottom <clears throat> of a crack pipe in a weed bag, yeah. in, a, in a bottle of alcohol, um, in a woman, in my friends. And what I had to realize was, wait a minute, why don't you take some time to really get to know yourself? Yeah. And for my listeners out there in the land of use what's left, what I want to encourage you as part of that extending itself, first and foremost, you, you got to step outside of self. Yes. Yeah. You got to step outside of self, step outside of your comfort zone. And so in that process, what we additionally found was that after you step outside of yourself, you got to be committed. Mm -hmm. You got to be committed, and that's that's easier said than done. Indeed, it's Indeed. very it's easier said than done. When we first started the journey of use what's left, I even had to find myself in a position of needing to extend. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that, as most of my males, as I continue to travel the country by the grace of the Creator, who now lets me right. do so, I found that. It's not very easy for guys especially mm -hmm. to step outside of their little walls that mm -hmm. we tend to build for ourselves. Right. And so you got to extend beyond that, that secret place, that quiet place that you don't let anybody into. And it's not easy. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I certainly suggest that you be very selective right. in who you find somebody that's trained, that's skilled at being able to, first of all, attentively listen yeah. first. Because what... I found to be the most positive and most awesome experiences where I go in not necessarily immediately talking, mm -hmm. but asking questions to get them to talk. Now, and th this is one thing, two things I noticed about you because I've, I've seen you work. So I've gotten yeah. to sit in on some of his sessions. Two things I thought was, was really important in that uh, people who may be watching maybe want to do the work that he does or maybe already do the work that he does. But one of the things I thought that was really great that you did was you got them to see that you cared. Absolutely. Uh, Dr. Womack and I was over in Flint, Michigan doing a youth event together. And uh, it's funny because they were hesitant when we came. Uh, especially the young men, they were Absolutely. hesitant. They weren't going to open up. And that's because they're so used to being talking to. But what what we know is that people don't know what you, they don't care what you know till they know that you care. That's right. And then when you went that's in right. and got them to see that you cared, 
Yeah. And, and what, let me tell you what he said. He said, we're going to have a, a panel up on the stage. We're going to have a panel of people up on the stage. And they did like, oh, God, right. here we go. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And because they get tired of being lectured to. Mm-hmm. And, if, yeah. and and those of us who have issues, who have problems, who have setbacks, we're tired of people telling us what we did wrong, why it's wrong, why we got to get up. And sometimes we want to be heard. And what Dr. Ed Womack said to these youth were, and you're going to be on the panel. You're going to be the panel. And we're going to sit down and listen. And the whole attitude changed. It reminded me what Winston Churchill said. He said it takes courage to stand up and speak. Mm-hmm. And so I got to commend you right now for telling your story, for sharing yeah. your message, for being honest, saying, look, I haven't always been Dr. Ed Womack. Exactly. So I yeah. was at one point Ed Womack that needed a doctor. That needed a doctor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. And, exactly. and you were honest about that. Yeah. And you stand up and spoke about it. But then Winston Churchill went on to say, it also, it also takes courage to sit down and listen. Sit down and listen. And, and you have perfected the ability to sit down and listen and help people open up in a way that they would not otherwise do. And I believe that gives them the ability to extend and excel. You know, it, it absolutely does, Ruben. And one of the things, I want to reflect back on that amazing time that we had at the Youth Summit as Yes, well, sir. Because in his infinite wisdom, and, and, and he's so so modest. He he offered, we had a little powwow in advance. He said, you know what? We're going to seek out those individuals that look like they don't normally get picked. Yeah. You know how when you're at the playground and it's, it's ball time, right? Right. And so it won't be fitting that we kind of share this a little bit, but typically the, the big buff guy, oh, the guy yeah. that's always talking all the oh, time yeah. is the one that gets picked. But we made it our express purpose to seek out those that look like they didn't really fit in. Right. Because that was the plight that I had. Yes. When I was going through my brokenness, when I talked about teetering on the fence between what mom and them told me I should do versus being trying to be hip, cool, and slick. Right. And so that was that was brilliant when you suggested that. But what we saw is, as we told them, hey, the panel's going to consist of you guys. Mm-hmm. Man, I, I mean, that was such a, and we didn't have the cameras rolling. No, no, I know. We didn't have the cameras. Yeah. I mean, the power that, and the, I mean, you could literally see the transformation in the room taking place. So in that extending and excelling, I think it's, and that's a perfect segue into the third element, mm-hmm. is that as adults, as part of the extend and excel, if you're coming back from setback, similar to myself, when I had totally, I thought I had totally blown it with my kids. And instead of coming back saying, oh, well, I'm, don't do as I say, do not as I do. Mm-hmm. I, I, I took a dose of that humility off the, the mentality rack of spices <coughs> and said, you know what? Excuse me. Instead of me, instead of us sitting out having a talk, I like to sit down and just listen. Yeah. And my daughter, man, she just, the, the, the tears just came flooding out. The words came out. The conversation that ensued was beyond anything I could have ever imagined. And so I just want to share with somebody out there, especially if you have millennials, as you look to extend and excel, you got to you have to change your thought process. You're going to get some of that, those spices of humility, yeah. even though we're the adults. Mm-hmm. The powerful thing that we saw happen at this youth summit was when we said, OK, we really want to listen to you guys. It changed the game. It changed the game. You know why I feel like? Because they don't get listened to. They don't. I went. I was at another conference in Atlanta. It was called Youngsters versus Oldsters, uh, bridging the gap mm-hmm. between the generations. And to a person, to a person, every single young person there said, I don't think adults listen to me. Mm. And so it, that also helped to inspire this chapter in the strategies and also in my life. Right. You know, these, these aren't just things that I just thought about or read about, these are things I've actually incorporated. Yeah. Well, there you have it. You know the next step is extend and excel. Stay tuned. Keep your pen and paper ready. We'll (laughs) see you in the next edition, which we will talk about what? Bake it, don't microwave it. Bake it, don't microwave it. We'll see you in just a few. If you've been sitting waiting for the answer, if you've been sitting waiting for something that you can get your teeth into and begin to execute on right now, here's what's left is it. 21 days or less, and I guarantee you'll begin to see a difference in your life. So what you waiting on? Go ahead, text REBOUND to 555-888, and not only get your copy of Use What's Left, but also get bonus access, which is normally valued at $97. But because we want to make certain that you have everything you need 
to optimize your rebound, we're going to give you access to the Live Your Best Life video library as well. So go ahead, act today, and watch your rebound take place tomorrow. Peace and blessings until we connect with you again. And thank you so much for supporting and following Use What's Left.